Hello folks, this is Dr. Myra Salcedo in your British Literature course, your five-week British Literature course. And we are coming down to the fifth week in the final few days. It's July 1. The course is about to end next week. So uh, a lot of things have transpired in this course. The first week I had 12 students. The second week, I had 17 students. The third week, I had 19 students. The fourth week, I, I don't even know, but this week, I'm down to 10 students. So, uh, if you have stayed the course, you are the survivors. Survivors ready? And uh, it's been a long haul, five weeks, but a lot of work challenging work for you and for me in this course. So if you've made it this far, I want to see you succeed and I will help help you and I will do everything I can to get you through this course in the last few days. So um, the main thing that you needed to do was two discussion board leader assignments. One discussion board later was a PowerPoint with audio and images that summed up the consensus of your group for a particular discussion board. The second discussion later assignment was for you to do a video summing up the consensus of your group. These are required elements. If you have not done those, I will work with you to do those. You can pick any uh, discussion board in the group and uh, present a PowerPoint with a narrative audio. That means reading beyond the slides. Don't just read the text on the slides. Put in a little bit more and have images in the slides and sum up some people's ideas they don't have to be your group ideas because the groups just uh, change so much because of people coming in and going out and I know that was hard for the discussion leaders but you need to have two discussion leader assignments in order to pass the class one is the audio PowerPoint audio narration with images. The second one is just a video. Um, you could do it on your cell phone and just sum up what some people in the course said. I'm not holding anybody to a group anymore because the groups are all over the map, breaking up, people coming in, people leaving. It's, uh, I've never seen anything like this. Uh, so I am sorry, I apologize, and this is not your typical university experience. It is a five-week summer course experience, and there were some students in the class that thought they had registered for fall uh, 2017, so they did nothing in their groups or in the class. And then there were other students that went on vacation for a week or two and decided, you know what, I'm not going to be able to complete a five-week class. Uh, right? And so it's been condensed, it's been challenging for all of us, but I'm going to work with everybody. I will open up any discussion board that you want to be a discussion leader for and uh, do whatever I can to get the final 10 survivors through this course with a good grade. Yeah, I want to see you do it. You are doing it already, so uh, let me know what you need, and I'm going through the final discussion boards and changing names because there are people that are now gone. And uh, you can do it. You guys got this. You made it this far. You got it. 
you can text me, text before calling, and I will help you with anything that I need to. Um, I also am putting a good paper, I put a good paper into the performance project uh, module. So if you needed to work on your performance project module, there's a good paper there. And I am accepting papers with extended due dates with no penalties. And the last day of class, I think, is July 6th. But I will do the best I can to take things after and find out when the last day is that I could turn in final grades. So I want to work with you. And I want you to stay the course. You got this. So do it. And uh, I am sorry for the little bit of chaos that occurred this course um, with people moving in and out. And there was some confusion. And uh, I apologize for that. It's usually not like this. And those that hung in have done wonderful work. And I am really proud of you guys. So stick with it. And I'll see you in the next video.